And we are back here on open uh, Detroit 48202. Conversations along a postal route is a feature documentary examining the rise, demise, and contested resurgence of Detroit through the lens of African-American mail carrier Wendell Watkins. Here now with a little bit more about the details on the film is the award-winning director and producer Pam Sporn. And uh, welcome. Hi, thanks. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm good, doing good. good. So give us a little bit about the film. Okay, the film is a six year, was a result of six years of following my high school buddy Wendell Watkins around his postal route in the middle of, of Detroit where I grew up. Mm -hmm. And I chose to follow him or I asked him to l allow me to tag along with him to see uh, what the stories were of the people along his route to, to give us some insight into what had changed in that city that I grew up in so drastically since, since I was a teenager um, there. Mm -hmm. And Wendell agreed right away and the six years we spent talking to people along his route, uh, hearing his own reflections, reveal this dynamic history of people, uh, particularly black working class people struggling to maintain and and it just shows their resilience in in a city that has to has had to deal with um, um, economic disinvestment um, racial segregation in terms of the housing market historically mm -hmm. and um, the creative ideas about how a city can revitalize for all of its citizens. And we knew Detroit to be that major city and of course it's gone through some revitalization, the loss of you know uh, the GM plant and things of that nature. You've got a lot of people out there who have really suffered and struggled. Talk to us about what were some of your the findings that really startled you uh, as you were traveling along the six-year period. Well Growing up as a young person in Detroit, we weren't taught in the schools about the, the policies around housing, um, mortgage, um, the mortgage system, redlining, the, the segregation that was really enforced by public policy throughout uh, the city. And so growing up there, I lived in a very um, integrated section of, of, of the city, actually a, a, an, an inburb called Highland Park, mm -hmm. uh, which was the, the site of the first Ford Motor Company um, assembly plant, and also at that point was the world headquarters of Chrysler. So it was a vibrant kind of uh, uh, area when I was growing up. Um, so what I learned was the, the, the backdrop to what happened in terms of the decline of the city, that, that oftentimes the narrative about the city of Detroit is that everything was fine, everyone came up from the south and immigrants came and got jobs in the auto industry, this was the arsenal of democracy, and then suddenly there was this riot in 1967 where black people burned down their neighborhoods, and then all the white people fled the city, and then we had this um, you know, difficult period. And so what I learned, um, I mean, I never as, as, as subscribed to that narrative to right. begin with, but um, what I learned through getting the oral histories of, of people who were part of that migration from the South, who worked in the factories, who, who, um, who understood, who lived through the period of the summer of 1967 and understood the, the history of police violence against the black community in Detroit that was the, the spark that led to that, that rebellion. Um, I, I, I collected these stories and through Wendell as really being the, the right. guide through this, this um, dynamic history. Um, so we learn the complexity of what explains what happens to a city. And so on the 29th is going to be the premiere, so tell people where they can actually see. Okay, and so I'm very excited that Detroit 48202 will be featured on the America Reframed series, which is a wonderful series of documentary films on PBS's World Channel. So people can tune in, you can find here in New York City, it will be on Channel 21, mm -hmm. that's 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, January 29th. And um, so it has a lot to do with the history of our, our Bronx as well, where I was a teacher for, for many, many years. And coming into the, the Bronx high school system on the tail end of the fires that occurred, um, there's something very, there's a kind of a connective tissue between. Between Detroit yeah. and the Bronx, mm -hmm. with the Bronx burning and mm -hmm. now the Bronx is booming. Mm -hmm. Give me this. When people watch a film, obviously a lot of work has gone in six years of following it. 
you want somebody to have a great takeaway. What's the takeaway that you want people to have? The takeaway is that um, there is strength in our communities that although sometimes the, the communities, the people who stay in these sometimes really difficult periods um, are often blamed for what has happened, mm -hmm. that in fact they're not to blame, that they're the ones who are resilient and really struggling to find solutions that meet everybody's needs. So once again, uh, January 29th is the premiere and uh, you have the opportunity to watch. Uh, give them the information one more time before we go. World Channel, Channel 21 here in New York City area. America Reframe, January 29th, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Congratulations and thank you for coming and sharing with us and we hope that the world gets to see Detroit and the Bronx and New York on a greater lens. Thanks okay, so much. Thanks so much. All righty. Take care. Listen, don't stay right here and oh. you stay right here too. Don't go anywhere. Got to take a quick break. We've got more show coming up so we'll, don't go away. We'll be right back right after this.